name is Ian Williams, and I designed this lesson during my 75-hour clinical at Fairmont State University. This lesson was designed in order to provide students with the skills necessary to write a personal memoir. Because sensory details are a hugely important part of personal writing, I wanted to implement a lesson and an activity that would strengthen these skills and really familiarize students with what's going on and how these and how sensory details can be incorporated into any kind of writing. What does your poem look like? Um, yes, Dante. Um, you have a long poem? Well, what, what does it look like? What kind of poem is it? It's brick. What is it made out of? What color is your house? Brick. It's white. Does it have like siding on it? Just the house. Just the house? Yeah. A log cabin. A log cabin. <laughs> For example, my house, I live in the top part of a garage apartment. So the bottom part of my house is a two car is a two car garage. So I live in a four hundred square foot, that's enough for like that's enough of a two normal sized rooms, and I have four rooms stuffed in there. So I live in a very small house, and it's yellow on the outside with green shutters. It has a brown roof and that roof is made out of... Um, For this lesson I decided to follow best practices and implement an I do, we do, you do instruction strategy. After a brief discussion designed to gather information regarding prior knowledge about sensory details, I described my own home using those sensory details. We moved on to an activity where we, as a class, brainstormed sensory details. When we had explored all five senses, I had the students engage in a low-stakes writing activity to describe their own homes using these writing techniques. Overall, I think the lesson went relatively well, although there were many students who still didn't understand the concepts of sensory details and were writing um, very general terms that didn't give the level of specificity that I hoped that the students would come away with. However, it did give me a good formative assessment of what their skill was what what their skill level currently is. And with that in mind I was able to develop other activities that strengthen these skills further.